What's up, everyone? This week, it's all about traditions here on the Holidays with Kin. So today, I'm gonna show you my traditional makeup look for the holidays. I love getting sparkly with it and fun, so you're gonna love this one. If you wanna see what everyone else's traditions are, make sure that you hit the playlist in the description below. So you ready for my look? Let's do this. I love the fact that for the holidays, there's always a fun party going on that you can attend. And you guys know that I love glamming up. I love taking my time, putting on Christmas music while I'm getting ready. And today's look is going to be a glitter eye with a nude lip. So it's like a smoky glitter eye with a nude lip. I'm kind of gonna look like a Christmas ornament. Prepare yourselves. So we're gonna start out again with a beauty blender. Guys, I got new color beauty blenders. I'm obsessed with the black ones because they never look dirty. And you know, I have OCD, so this makes me feel so much better. I started out by actually wetting it a bit so that it's moist and so that my concealer and foundation can go on better. What I'm using today as my foundation is actually number 11. It's the KKW concealer, but I use it as a foundation. I'm just gonna kind of go over my cheeks and get rid of the redness there. Okay, then you're just gonna Blend that in like this, all over. So now that my foundation's done, we're gonna go in with some concealer, which you guys know I love Infallible Pro Glow Concealer by L'Oreal. I'm gonna go under just like that. Kinda go up there. And again, we're gonna blend. You know, I just love to blend my life away. Now imagine if you were doing this and listening to Christmas music. Like it doesn't get any better than this. Like jam, you could have a glass of wine. In my case, some coquito, some eggnog, whatever you're into, and enjoy yourself. I actually love the process of getting ready. Especially when you're going to like a great party or great holiday party or just being at home with your family but you're gonna take some bomb pictures for IG. I love it. My husband actually likes watching me get ready. Okay. Moving right along, we're now going to contour with my favorite contour stick, which is by Anastasia, and it's in the color Coco. So, you know, I always start with my forehead, just like that, my cheeks, and I might even do my jawline, and I'm gonna come down my nose just like this. Scary, right? I know, so tribal. So I'm just gonna blend like this. Blend that right into my forehead, like so. This is how you fake a tan in the middle of the winter. And this is perfect to do with a turtleneck, because it doesn't even matter if it doesn't match my neck. So again, the key is really to just blend as much as you can. You don't want to completely blend it all away either. That's a major fail. Like people go and put on concealer and foundation and then they just blend it off. Don't blend it off, blend it in. There's a difference. Boom. Okay, we are gonna set this. We are setting this with Benai Luxury Powder and this is in the color Banana. Look up. Set my under eyes. I actually like to let this bake really well because we're using a smoky eye color. And I don't want it to bleed down. And I think it's really important to do the sides of my nose because that's where I get the greasiest. So I'm just setting it in like that. And then I'm going to use this side of the brush, which is a little softer, to kind of just set my eyebrows because I find that when I use moisturizer and there's too much moisture on my brows, my eyebrow stick doesn't stick on. Does that make sense? Today I am using Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, and it is in the color, oh, it's in shade number four. I'm going a little stronger today, which is why I'm using the Benefit Brow Pencil, which is a little bit more pigmented, but my favorite brow pencil of all time is by Anastasia, and it's Brow Wiz, and it depends on the look I'm going for. If I want a really soft look, my favorite is Caramel, and if I'm going for a stronger look, I use the color Chocolate. You definitely want to brush it out so that it doesn't look too harsh. Especially in the front, you always want to make sure your front is softer than the back. It should never look like your eyebrow starts with just like a block. Think of like the front of your eyebrows, 
like the baby hair of your brows. It needs a gradual progression. I love the saying that your eyebrows are not twins. They're just sisters, but they're not twins. My two eyebrows are completely different. And even when I try to make them match, they're never gonna be exactly the same. And I'm okay with that. It is well with my soul. Okay, brows on. Now I'm going to actually highlight my brows so that they have a really clean look. I'll show you what that means. I use Anastasia's Highlighting Duo Pencil, Illuminator Crayon Duo in Matte Camille and Sand Shimmer. But I'm gonna use the Matte Camille. This is like my real makeup, people. This side is gone. So we're going with the matte side. Okay, and I'm just gonna go right under my brow, like so, just like that. And then I'm gonna blend this in like this, just blend it in a little bit. But it really gives a clean look to your brows, makes them almost look like you just got them freshly waxed. Moving right along. Now we're gonna actually work on our eyeshadow. I am actually going to lay down, I'm gonna use this Makeup by Forever Professional Paris kit, and I'm going to take a flat brush, flat eyeshadow brush like this, and I'm going to use this nude color here and I'm just gonna cover my entire eyelid with that. Like so. Once that's done, I'm now gonna actually contour my eyelids into my nose and my cheekbones. Hold please. My favorite contour kit is KKW Beauty. Clearly I like really use this. I broke this one during travel, RIP. Okay, so I am going to use this brush with the darkest one and I am going to do my forehead. I'm gonna go into my cheekbones. Chin, neck. And now I'm gonna use that same color with a bigger, fluffier eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go from the corner of my eye, from the outer corner of my eye, and I'm gonna drag that up to the tip of where my eyebrow starts, and I'm gonna drag that down my nose. So it starts here in the corner, with the same color, going to the corner of my nose, coming down. Okay, now it's gonna get fun. This is a Chanel kit, and this is Les Four Hombres, is the name of the palette, and it looks like this, voila. And we are using the darkest deep metallic color over here. And I'm going to use that to pat that on my eye, just like that, that's really dark, love it. A lot of people wonder why you put so much powder under your eyes, and it's actually preventative for when you're doing a smoky eye and the powder falls down. When I wipe this away, so will the dark powder, and it didn't like penetrate. I love a dramatic smoky eye for the holidays. I think especially for like, in my case, I think for New Year's, like it just looks so regal and rich and like sexy, smoldering moments. The key is, you're doing a smoky eye, people. You can't do a bold lip. You gotta pick one or the other. That's the key. This smaller brush is what I'm gonna use to go under my eyes with the exact same color and we're just gonna swipe it under the line of my, like this. And I actually create almost like a wing at the end. Do you see that? I almost got the little kitty cat. Call me kitty cat. And now, we're gonna do wing liner. So I am using L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense, in, oh, just, I was trying to make it French, people. You know I try to make everything French. This is just Linear Intense. <laughs> there it is. I'm all Linear Intensia. Oh, it's just intense. Carbon black. And then, again, you don't have to be perfect with this because you're gonna put a big lash on top and you're not even gonna really see if the liner was precise or not. I actually just use liner most of the time to not make my lash look so fake. Even though these lashes I'm putting on today, there's no way that naturally could have grown out of my eye. 
We said we were going dramatic. That was pretty perfect. Let me give myself some props. And I did that quickly. So, you have options with the Stilla glitters. They come in, this is what they look like. How cute. Love them. And they come in three different colors. They have Kitten Karma, which is more of a rose gold. Then you've got Diamond Dust, which is literally like a silver, but almost rainbow glitter situation. And then you've got Gold Goddess, which is just straight up gold glitter. I'm going with Kitten Karma, the rose gold situation. You're gonna put the glitter mainly in the corner of your eye. And I wouldn't say drag it, I almost would say just dab it. See that? And now we're gonna blend that out with this little brush right here. Kinda let it dry a little bit and then just slightly move it, but you definitely wanna make, it, make sure that it's dry and that you're not just moving it around while it's wet, because when it's wet, it looks crazy. Okay, so that's what it should look like in the beginning. We're gonna let that dry. Moving on to the next eye. And then you're gonna do the bottom. This you kind of want to be wet. So you're gonna get the corner of your eye, like where your tear duct is. Get in there, like so. This almost looks like broken glass on my eyes. I am not mad at this. Looks like I have Christmas ornaments on my eyes. Dope. Now it's time for the lashes. Love these lashes, they're Batty B, and I'm gonna cut the corners. I do not recommend using a scissor this big, oh, but it works. And I'm just gonna cut the corners off. My favorite, of course, good old duo in the dark tone, which means it'll dry black. You're gonna just put that on the lash band. I like to blow on it so that it gets kind of tacky and sticky. Then I'm gonna use this mirror to bring it up close. Place it in the corner. Even if you're not perfect on the glitter behind the eye, it doesn't matter because the lashes are gonna come in and it's just gonna look like behind like this beautiful little bush of lash is this glitter in the background. Okay, now again, because I said this was gonna become so intense that I'm gonna go back in and go under my eyes a bit more to smoke it out. Guys, this may be a really special occasion because I'm actually considering putting black inside my eyes, which I never, ever, ever do. But I feel like this is so smoky, it really might make it even better. I feel like I have a black liner somewhere in here. Black liner, black lips. This is a black lip liner? When the heck did I buy that? And when was I wearing black lipstick? Oh, here we go. We've got more back here. This is black, boom. So we are using extra long lasting waterproof eye pencil in, I think it says M10. So I'm just gonna put this in my waterline. Go inside your eye. Other eye. Okay. Now, at this point, I kind of feel like I'm too dark under, uh, too light under my eyes, like it's like way too white. So the key to that is to go under your eyes with like a regular color like this, which might be like your regular skin color. For me, it's 330 Toffee Caramel for Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm gonna just dab that, and then I'm gonna buff it into my under eye, like so. I just feel like that ends up not looking as white. Anywhere you feel ended up looking too white, you could just go over it with that. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna line my lips right now with NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Nude. And you know I always like to overline my lips to make them look extra big, so. I'm not gonna get crazy, just a little bit outside the line. 
I feel like for the holidays, because you're gonna be eating and drinking a lot, you definitely wanna layer your lip so that it doesn't come off. So I'm filling the whole lip in with my nude lip liner. And then I'm gonna go over it with the Sephora lipstick in brunch date. Hashtag lip stories, that's what it says. And it's a nude, nude color. Love that. And I kind of want to keep it nude and matte. I was thinking of putting my favorite lip gloss over it, which is Fenty Beauty, the lip gloss. But I actually think we have so much shimmer going on that I should keep the lip matte. And so I love that, so I'm gonna just add my blush, which I'm using e.l.f. in the blush palette, light. And I'm gonna kind of go with this little light color over here. Maybe a little bit pink. Onto the apples of my cheeks. Yes, I always make this face when I put on blush. And then we are going to use a little highlight going back into my KKW Beauty. Love, love, love this highlighter. Go ahead, drink. I just said love, love, love. I'm catching on to your to your games, guys. And I am going to use this little brush right here. Tap that off. And I'm gonna go right on my higher cheekbone. Like so. Yes, come through highlight. Then I'm gonna do the tip of my nose as well, which makes it look so much shorter. And my cupid bow. Okay, mascara. Where is my mascara? Okay, and I am using L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carmen Black. My fave. So I'm gonna go under. And the key, once you already have lashes on, you're not trying to create more lashes. What you're trying to do is blend your lashes with the lashes you've put on. So the way to do that is actually to coat the inside of your under, the under of your eye. Almost like touching your waterline, but on the top. Does that make sense? So roll it up in there so that it blends better. But you're not like trying to like lengthen. If we lengthen this anymore, it's gonna end up on my forehead. So I just try to get to the root. That's the word I was looking for. You definitely wanna coat the root so that it looks natural. As natural as this lash can look. It is definitely my tradition to wear glitter eyes for the holidays. I am one day gonna be somebody's grandmother walking around with this same look because it is the tradition, okay? Glitter eyes for the holidays is just the way to do it. I feel like a little Christmas ornament that should go on the tree, a little glitter bulb. So I love this look and I'm so excited that I got to share it with you guys. Let me know what is your Christmas tradition, whether it be how you glam yourself, a certain look you go for every single year. Sometimes it's a red lip for a lot of my girlfriends. Let me know in the comments below and keep the tradition going. Also make sure you check out everyone else's traditions by clicking on the Holiday with Kin playlist, which is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. Happy holidays, you guys. Mwah. Love ya.